What will we do with this moment? How will we be remembered? This is our future and our choice to make. I am asking you to choose greatness. Welcome back, everyone. We're here with Real Trump News. And for today's broadcast, I want to give you a quick update in regards to some events that have occurred this week with America. All reports were based on information provided by the White House website. These are the news the mainstream media does not want you to read about. The Washington Examiner writes that the Green New Deal is profoundly embarrassing and politically damaging proposal for Democrats which is probably why not a single one of them voted for it. Faced with a day of debate on their own embarrassing resolution, Democrats spend their floor time trying to blame Republicans for not taking global warming seriously enough. But if Democrats took it seriously and did not view it as a potential source of donation from the gullible millenarian millennials, they would not have fallen in line behind the ludicrous unicorn and rainbows proposal in the first place. It is reported on the Daily Caller. Attorney General Barr told Congress Sunday that Special Counsel Robert Mueller did not found collusions between the Trump campaign and the Russian government, destroying two years of media speculation and bad reporting. In light of Mueller concluding his investigation, we have compiled a list of some of the worst media screwed-ups in the history of Russian theories. Now the special counsel Robert Mueller has dispatched the Russian collusion theories. The Wall Street Journal edited board writes, one has to ask, how did the partisan propaganda known as the Steeler dossier become the basis for an unprecedented FBI pro of a presidential campaign? an abuse of law enforcement, and two years of media and political hysteria. Its author and promoter should be held accountable. House Democrats on Thursday failed to override President Trump's first veto as part of their battle over border security, representing a victory for the administration that allowed the president's declaration of a national emergency at the U.S.-Mexican border to stand. President Trump called it a big win today. Ivanka Trump is coming back to Kentucky. The advisor to President Trump will tour Toyota's largest manufacturing plants in Georgia town today. The Associated Press reported, Toyota Motor North American CEO and Toyota Motor Manufacturing Kentucky President are scheduled to sign the White House Pledge to American Workers. It is an effort to encourage private employers to adequately train their workers. With that said, we will continue to keep you updated. We would love to hear from all of you. Do leave your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you think of these headlines. Also, if you have a moment, come and visit us on Facebook. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.